put in our bowl. Mm. Now, uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, you're going to have a productive 2010. It's the start of the year. But let's spare a thought for a guy, Tristan Miller, who was attempting to run 52 marathons in the course of one year. That's one marathon a week, Jeff. I know. That's uh, that's too much. That's huge. Mm. Tristan Walker joins us in the peanut gallery now on the nut phone. Tristan, one down, 51 to go. That's correct. I got through number one. It was uh, a bit more of a struggle than I was expecting in the middle of the night, but I got there. What sort of times do you run in a marathon? Well, I'm aiming to run uh, just about a 3.45, three and a half to 3.45 for each uh, marathon. Uh, this one came in at 3.42, so I was bang on the money for that. Now, it is a, a mountain that you do have to climb in 2010, but I believe you've already hit a snag. You're, you're holed up in Berlin as we speak. <laughs> That's right. I'm stuck in Berlin. Oh, we were actually flying to Tel Aviv, to Israel, and, uh, but then our plane was delayed in Zurich because uh, the Berlin airport was closed for a little bit. So by the time I got here, I missed my connecting flight to get there. So now we're stuck here till Tuesday. So does that mean that if you miss one next week, the following week you have to do two? Well, I haven't actually missed the marathon yet. It's on Thursday. So luckily I get there still in time. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if that was the case, then if I missed a, a marathon, I'd have to find another one later in the year that I could double up on in a weekend. Would it be possible if you're still stuck in the hotel room to set up a course in the hotel room and just run around in circles for three and a half hours? <laughs> Look, I hadn't thought about that, but, uh, but it is a good idea. Um, I hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> Tristan, is there any precedent for running this many marathons in this period of time? No one's done it around the world, so that's probably the most difficult thing. And being stuck in, you know, wintry conditions and then going to hot summers and all that kind of stuff is, is actually, um, yeah, I, I'm a bit worried about how that's going to turn out. But, hey, I'm, I'm here to just have a crack and see how it goes. In January of 1999, I embarked on a challenge to pash one girl a week. I got to January 8th and I just gave up. Uh, first the challenge is still out. taking, actually. Yes. I'm trying 52 girls in 52 years. Fantastic. Well, I've got my buddy uh, Darren Foss with me, and, uh, and we, uh, we actually went out for a few beers last night because it's my birthday here in, uh, in Berlin as we speak. Um, and so uh, he did manage to passion us uh, German girls, so that was good. So, whilst you are attempting the 52 marathons, he will be trying to pass the 52 hot European women? There's no doubt that he'll have a go to at least make friends with a lot of great women around the world. See, I'm starting to think, a yeah, couple of Aussie guys, I'm thinking this is just a 52-week pub crawl. I think the marathons are just you trying to justify it. Yeah, well, I mean, it has been looked at like, uh, like that a couple of times. It's it basically is an adventure of two mates running around the world doing great stuff, but, you know, it's a bit of a boy's own adventure. That's, that's what we wanted. Sponsored why, by you Kentucky know, Tours. I've, I've happily sold all my stuff to pay for it. So you've sold all your possessions to embark on this challenge? That's right, yeah. I've sold everything I own, and uh, my, my apartment, my car, and uh, my motorbike, and a few other little bits and pieces I had around the house. I yeah. did get to leave a few things behind with my sister, so that yeah. was good. But, presumably, uh, you, presumably you held on to the sneakers. Yes, I did keep my runners. But Paul, let's focus on what a marvellous job this guy's doing. He's raising money for UNICEF. If you want to follow Tristan's progress, you can check him out at runlikecrazy.com. And, and what can we do to support you, Tristan? Oh, well, look, you know, if everyone keeps uh, watching us and keeps uh, seeing me run around the world and checking out the website, uh, you know, like hopefully as I, I build the audience, we can build, some, uh, build a profile for UNICEF there and hopefully make some money for them. Um, yeah, apart from that, just, just your best wishes are the best thing you can give me. All right, well, all the best, Tristan, and good luck. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. We'll keep an eye on your progress. Top of 26 today. Nice day for a run, Paul. Beautiful day for a run, but quite frankly, I can't be stuffed. It's 14 minutes past eight. This is Jeff and Paul, the Peanut Gallery on Triple M.